Hi, I'm just going to go over how to install Melavona Allied Assault on Mac. Um, I'm using a MacBook Pro for this. Um, I haven't installed it on any other laptop, uh, Mac, so I don't know what the hardware requirements are, but I just know that it works for me, and this is going to be a guide to how I have set it up. So I did post a video in the Moha Reunited uh, Facebook page just showing the game working. And you can see it working there on my Mac. So that's what we're going to try and achieve today. So first things first, what you want to do is go to uh, portingking.com, download their application, install it. And then once it's installed, you'll get this app here on the news tab and you got to basically click over to library type in metal here so once you've typed in metal it'll come up with Medal of Honor war chest and for this to work you do have to buy the game um, but it only costs like less than £10 so what I did was I clicked buy and that basically took me over here and I added this to my basket um, purchased it and then once I purchased it it showed up in my um, account here under games okay so what you gotta do is download the files at the bottom here so each one of these is basically um, a disk and then you've got the XE which is already um, an OCD crack okay so you just click on them and it'll download the files to your Mac downloads folder and that's important because when we go and install it it needs to be in your downloads folder for porting king to locate it okay so when you click these they'll just basically download uh, these three files here and they'll be named uh, setup underscore medal of honor and they'll be dot bin files for each disk and then an xe for the no cd crack i've already downloaded those um so what i'm going to do is go back over to porting king and instead of clicking on buy, I'm going to go install now. And this is just telling you to download the files, as I told you previously. So I'm just going to wait now. And now I'm going to click on the sure button. And just keep on agreeing and clicking next. And it will go ahead and create... Um, a wrapper for the game and then once the wrapper is installed it should then pop up with another screen to install the game from the downloads that you just downloaded okay so for me that actually went a lot quicker than it did the first time uh, it's probably because I've already done this once, so it might take longer. Um, so now you can see that it's popped up another screen here, and this is actually going to install the game. So I'm going to accept, and then press install. Okay, so at this point, make sure you press launch game. Okay, try and escape the game. So I'm going to quit out of this, and as you could probably tell there, um, it wasn't widescreen. Okay, so when I opened the game there, um, my screen recording software just crashed. So just started my screen recording software up again. So when I left the game, what you didn't see there was uh, the install window was 
still there behind the game and it just wanted me to click um, one last button to complete and after I clicked that button I got these uh, tabs down the side of the Porting King application here and these are just all the different things that are part of the install so what we need to do is we need to fix the screen resolution so that we don't have the bars down the side of the game um, and then we need to uh, fix the multiplayer side of the game so that you actually get some servers showing up when you go to the multiplayer uh, section of the game okay so uh, what we're going to do first is go to widescreen utility so little tip here what I did wrong the first time when I installed this was I clicked on one of these and then I went over to click play don't do that because it won't actually run the one you clicked on it will just run the main game which is allied assault so to actually run any of these on the sidebar you have to click on them and then right click and then click play from here and then that should open that widescreen utility instead of the game itself so here we go it's detected my screen resolution um, here and what this is going to do is it's going to um, when I click the set resolution button it should go into the game where it's installed on wine which is a virtual like Windows C drive and it'll go into the game and it'll edit my uh, unnamed soldier config and it will place the custom resolution in the, in there for me okay so it's saying it's gone ahead and edited uh, my unnamed soldier config just as I said and now I'm going to exit out of, out of here and I'm going to apply the multiplayer fixer. Okay, so I'm going to click the patch button. And then exit out of there. And now we can go ahead and just play the game. And it should be widescreen now. Um, hopefully my screen recording software will work <laughs> for the next part so I'm gonna cl click on play So you can see that that is now widescreen so that worked and if we go into multiplayer and then join game uh, join internet game browse the internet servers now we've got some servers showing up so that has fixed the multi -side, multiplayer side of the game um, my ping isn't very good on my internet so what you probably want to do first of all is actually set up your game. Uh, so you want to come into multiplayer options and set yourself a, a unique name because a lot of servers will automatically kick you if you haven't set up your name. And then you want to go into options and then actually put um, your detailing up as high as you can so that the game actually looks okay don't touch your resolution because that's already configured for you and then your controls so all your controls are going to be the defaults that the game gives you so you want to go through there and set them up um, if, if you're like me um, I used to play Mill of Honor on a Windows computer and the keyboard setup on a Windows computer is much much more friendly on a Mac you get the the keys in different places basically so your fingers won't feel right so what I do is I plug in a Windows style keyboard into my Mac and then that allows me to use my old key uh, combinations that I used to use 
without like my fingers feeling wrong. Also, when you're on a Mac, um, you will have mouse acceleration and Windows doesn't have that. So when you start playing the game, what you might notice is if you move your mouse quickly, you'll spin around and that's very disorientating. So there are some um, fixes for that, which I'll show you how to do as well. Um, but I'll probably have to do another video for that. So or I'll just paste what I type in to my terminal to fix that. You know, where I post this video. Because you have to go in your terminal in your, on Mac and then you turn it off by basically telling it to no longer use acceleration because uh, Mac don't have like an interface for you just to turn that off in system preferences. So if we go. Is there anything else? Oh, okay, so audio, this might um, confuse you as well because the audio won't work with your headphones unless you select headphones. Okay, so if you haven't got any audio and it's because you've plugged your headphones in, you have to actually tell it you, that you're using headphones, which is weird because you just expect it to work sometimes. Um, I had that problem when I had my Bluetooth head, headset connected and I just didn't know why it was working until I came in here and actually set that up to headphones. So that's about it really. Um, if I quit this game my screen capture software is gonna crash. Um, so maybe I can just alt tab out of here, maybe that will stop it from crashing. Okay, is it still recording? Seems to be. Maybe I can find the terminal command for you. Okay, so this is why I typed into my terminal to turn off the mouse acceleration. And you can look this up, this up on Google. Um, so I just googled it and this is what I found that I had to type in. So I'll try and put that into the like YouTube uh, description underneath the video. 